Welcome in the fourth section of Java Machine Learning course. In this section, we'll be looking at the more advanced topic, that is the deep learning. We'll use deep learning techniques for predicting gender based on the name of the person. Firstly, we'll focus on feeding deep learning for j model with gender labeled data. Once we'll cover that part, we'll be creating labeled gender from file line reader for automatic feature extraction. So we will try to write line reader. That is the concept from Deep Learning 4J API for reading data line by line. Next step will be to create neural network with multiple layers. So we'll create Deep Learning neural network that will pick the proper wages to these specific features. We will see how it works. Next, we'll be training our Deep Learning model and finally, we'll perform validation of the model. And this is the first video in which we'll be feeding Deep Learning 4J model with gender labeled data. So we'll be analyzing gender input data, we'll be defining labels for our data, and we'll be understanding feature needed for the model. So let's recap our task back again. So we are given a list of genders. So we will see that we have two files inside of the predict gender data. First file is called female and second one is called male. We'll see that female file has multiple lines. Every line is a one row, so we can see what features those rows has. So the most important feature that we'll focus on is a name. So we have a name that is called Shivani and it is a female. Then if we will go further, you will have another names and all names in this file are a female names. So we can use that part to train the female modeling part of our deep learning model. But this is only one side of the coin. Other side is a male file. So also we need to have a file with male names that all are labeled with male. Having those two files, we can feed them in, into machine learning, deep learning neural network, and then that network will be able to answer for the specific name and recognize if it is male or female. And also, of course, it will give the probability of this prediction because it will never be 100%. Sometimes there are names that could be also male and female. Also, sometimes we can specify name that was not here in those files that were used to train. And this is very important. So deep learning neural network should be fairly generic. So by using those files to train them, when we will specify the name that is not present in those files, it should be able to guess it even though it is not there. If you will employ really simple logic like just for each for every row and if the name is equal to name, then return female, it will be really easy, not need machine learning for that. But our use case is to specify name that was not specified upfront in, in those files. So for example, here are name for the Indian, and for example, we can specify John that is not present here, but still model should be clever enough to learn about those names and still it should be returned that it can be name of the male. Also we need to define labels. So it is very simple. As you remember from the previous sections about Weka, we defined different labels. For example, for the flowers, it was flower name. Also for the weather was if you want to play outside or not. And here it is very simple we will have two labels. First one is a male and second was the female. Loading data is not so hard task, but we will start from the main. So in the main, we'll create predict gender based on the name. So this is the name of the whole class that encapsulates whole logic. And we will load class publishers from the predict gender data, getting the path of it. Once you will load it, we will start training and start training method encapsulate everything that we will need to achieve our task. We'll be looking into this method in the next video.